What is good, what is good, what is good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your boy, Big Sin. We are back with another gameplay. We are looking at some legal information. Do, 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 do. Um, this is a game from, it's called Beneath the Waves, from the creators of Heavy Rain and Beyond Good and Evil and Detroit Become Human, some games that I really like. Beyond Good and Evil is really shit on for no reason, in my opinion. But it is what it is. But we are here. This is new game just came out. And um I've done Heavy Rain and I've done Detroit gameplays. So I'm going to do one here too. This is called Under the Waves. I don't exactly know what it's about, but we are going to just jump right in and let's see where this narrative journey takes us. Let's go. And with their games, there's always multiple endings, multiple paths, branching stuff, and yeah, so. There are three types of people in the world, the living, the dead, and those who are at sea. Parallel Studio. Base to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Yeah, Quantic Dream is the name of the studio. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, oh, there's gratitude for you. The finest in unitrenched deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. I think this takes place in the 70s also, so... Forget about it, you'll be fine. And underwater stuff is usually very perilous, because you never know what's beneath the... Right, last thing. What's in the darkness of the ocean. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. Superhero hose. Spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right. The mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling the off a log. The character looks weird, but the scenery looks gorgeous. So. Okay, so fine moon into bunker, got it. If you've ever played these games, you know what to be on the lookout for. Shoot the keys. Heart-wrenching story. Some shocking twist. Silence. 
This is what's terrifying about being in water like this. Just the utter silence. Looks like a lift. Ooh, what's this? Message from Unitrek HR to Timothy Grand. Here's your request for food. Although I'm still not sure where this has come from, this guy Stan Murray is now under your supervision as an offshore operator. Alright. So, a little collectibles. Crafting materials. So, we may see Alright. Metal. Usually not the norm for these types of games. That's a cool fish. I saw something that had like multiple limbs and I just couldn't make sure it wasn't something that was going to kill me, but I want to look over here. See if there's anything I missed. I don't think there is. Okay, so... Well, right, let's go through this gate now. B27. Remember where we parked, right? Hmm. It's darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you, Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of Jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, all, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. Oxygen. Okay, um, another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. A learning opportunity. Have a look over there. Oh, yeah. Oxygen sticks. 
two steps ahead as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. All right, cool. In suit, oxygen research. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. I take any more? Yeah, we're taking all these bitches. Grabbing oxygen. Hey, it's a ladder. Nope. Not on these flippers. I like that they're like, you, there's a ladder here, but don't try to use it. Because <laughs> you don't need to. Because you can swim, motherfucker. Stops a good one. Head on through to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Yeah, it's a wee bit. Wait, are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? Oh, Stan, it's lovely. Clouds and little birds. Soothing. <laughs> and there she is, the moon. Pride oh, look at this. Fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk, but good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kit. Now you're a fully qualified unit trench service diver, we spare no expense. Well, what's it for? might come in handy. Stanley Murray, age 38, offshore maintenance, operative class 3. Period for harbor diver class 2, shore haven maintenance facility. By citing the attached, the attached documentation, the above named egress, aggress to perform any and all tasks mandated the assigned unit trench supervisor or by any member of the unit trench offshore advisory board. The above name waives any and all rights to enter into legal proceedings against the company on the basis of workload, working hours, pre existing medical conditions, medical conditions encountered during the period of employment, injury, death, industrial negligence, or termination. The company learns the right to alter the rate and method of remuneration. Within a notice period, whatever. She's above name, yeah, that's have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. You know the drill. First lock release. Looks like she's all fueled up. You were a diver once upon a time. Was that here or? Oh no. This is the training ground for kiddies. I used to work in the real deep, way down at the original site. Count yourself lucky we don't need you down there, lad. I mean it. Wait, there's a call over here. Let me get this call real quick. Adam Cole, baby. Chunk of coal. The jellyfish looks so cool. Get up in there. All right. Just like in training. The primary motor on. Check flaps and rudder. Spinning up rotors. Impressive. Ha. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Not a pretty Think face like at all. Swimming, but faster. And with a higher insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. 
Hopefully you control it better than the one at Earthworm Jim used to. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. We're all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. So fucking cool. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. There she is. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now. So cool. I dig this. Home one area. That must be the life module. <laughs> Looks like a lighthouse. On the bottom of the ocean floor. Quite the view. See the docking bay there? Moon will fit snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there, it's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. Hell yeah, we didn't crash. Heading inside. What of that? Nope, nope, wrong one. God damn it. I did not want to do that. Stupid. That's the issue with having the same button go to enter vehicle and just swim. Right, we're heading into the light station. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... Sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Okay, this is not as bad as I expected. It's actually... Okay, cozy. Nice. 
I'm going to do a couple more things. Where's the call? Oh, there it is. Have you all turned around? Um, is this right? Hey, Tim. Finally. Okay, now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. New user identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Thank you, friendly Stand. robot. Meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Hello, Mercury. Hello. A talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but it'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. <laughs> hmm. Pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrend employees. I've heard that mm -hmm. before. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway. Now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Hello, user Stanley Moray. Hello, Mercury. This looks like the storage room. All right. Okay. Ah, camera. Camera. Last guy must have left it behind. Take a picture of a leather back turtle. Take a picture of an octopus. Take a picture of a blue shark. Orca and humpback whale, blue whale. A seal, a whale shark, and a basking shark. Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these. Well, should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. <laughs> Assuming you've no complaints, the rest of the day's your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. Update downloaded. Packet size, 300 kilobytes. Time taken, three weeks, six days. I should probably check in with Emma. Daisy. Daisy. Where can I call him? Okay, so there's a computer in here. All right. Seems simple enough. Could take a Seems shower. Kind of redundant. Given, you know, bottom of the ocean and all. <laughs> Rather exposed. Good job I'm alone. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. All right, so this is going to be an interesting... Do you smell what the rock is cooking? All right, let's go in here. Let's call the girl. Oh. Yeah, I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. Cool. Hmm, a little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. <sighs> Lost. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. 
I know I didn't, uh... What we said before I left, you, you said you needed space, right? And I needed space, so... So, yeah, this is space. Uh, just... Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's a number I gave him. <laughs> he said the, the line should be fixed by now, but... Yeah, it's... You know, Trent, so... Who knows? I miss us. <sighs> Excuse me. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. That is a big story, this one, I'm guessing. You should... You should get these, to bed. These, these games really have pretty good stories. Who... Is this for? I'm the only one down here and they already bagged me. Sit down for a minute. Guess I'm responsible for you guys now. Mm, quite the view. To a shark tries to eat your face. Big day tomorrow. All right, get some shut eye. Get some shut eye. And um, yeah. So we got a dream sequence. So we start. This is where I start. We start finding out what happened to this man. I was. Oh, sure, he's on some Alan Wake shit right here. This isn't right. This isn't. There you go, Krabbies. Why is this here? Where did this come from? At the lighthouse up there. Oh, look at the big whale! It looks like a whale, but also looks kind of alien. Another one. This isn't. Looks like it was driven. This is. Oh, I thought I could use that. Look at the lighthouse. So strange. Hey, look at that big bastard. Hmm. We are now on day two, and we're going to end this episode. Probably got some talking to do real quick. It was a bad dream, my guy. A bad dream. First day down here and bad dreams already. Ugh. All right. We're going to call this an episode today. Um, we will get back to this very soon. I'm very interested. I want to see where this story goes and what kind of um, messed up shit they're going to put this man through in this game. So, um... My name is Big Sin. You can always bet on Simple Black. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you know more Simple Black content drops. Anyway, I'm out here. Bye for now.